Today's our topic to present is accuracy assessment. We will teach you how can you check the quality or reliability of the data using three different methods. Correlation. The first method is correlation. Correlation basically measures the linear relationship strength between two variables, and it ranges from negative one to positive one. Move toward the topic, how can we find out the correlation? At first, organize data. As I collected the data from two different sources for a point, two datasets include CHIRPS data and PMD data. The PMD data collected by the Pakistan Meteorological Department through their stations would typically serve as the actual data. This data is often considered more reliable because it comes directly from ground-based observations. The CHIRPS data, which is satellite-based precipitation data, would typically be the predicted data. You can simply find out the correlation by using this formula of correlation. Put equal sign and search, search for correlation, click on it now. You just have to select first column. After selection the first column, put comma, and then select the second column. After the selection of second column, now you have to close parenthesis and then click on enter. Select the cell and click on decrease decimal tool to set fewer decimal places. A correlation coefficient between 0.25 and 0.5 is considered to be a weak correlation between two variables. So there is a weak correlation between these two data sets. Now move toward the next method. The next method to check the accuracy of the data is RMSC or root means square error. It is defined as the square root of the mean of the squared differences between predicted and actual values, as in this case, values chirps data is considered predicted and PMD station's data values are considered actual values. Measures average magnitude of prediction errors, lower values are considered better, or values should not be greater than 0.5. As the 0.5 is the threshold value. Now move toward the topic. How can we find the root mean score error? As we already discussed that the first step is to organize the data that we have collected from two different sources, PMD stations data and chirps data. Then we arrange the data PMD stations data represented as RE, whereas CHIPPER's data will represent as SAI. RE are the actual values, whereas SAI are the predicted values. Here we arrange the data. There are total 30 number of observations in the data. To calculate root mean square error, we will have to normalize this data. In order to normalize the data, First, we will have to calculate the sum of each column. Let's see how to calculate sum of both columns. You can calculate the sum of each column by applying the formula. You just have to enter equal sign and write sum click on it and select the whole column and simply click the enter. The sum of all the values will be calculated. In this way, you can also calculate the sum of other column, or you can simply drag the formula. It will automatically apply it for the second column. Create two new columns to represent the normalized data. Divide each number in the column by the sum of that column. Let's create two additional columns in Excel to represent normalized data. Normalization of data is done to scale numerical values into a standard range, which enhances the performance and accuracy of models. Label third columns as normalized SAI and fourth column as normalized RE. Now put the formula, equal sign select first cell click divide button and select the sum of that column. Before clicking on the enter, Use a dollar sign to fix the position of sum for all cells. Click on enter. The drag option is available to apply formula for whole column, or you can simply double click on plus sign to apply formula for whole column. Then if you want to decrease decimal point to show fewer decimal places, you can simply click decrease decimal function. Hmm. 
Now apply same method to get normalized read data. Here is the formula to find out RMSE. Create a new column and label it as C minus re. In order to calculate difference, put U call sign select C put minus sign and select re. Use drag method to apply formula for the whole column. Now, according to formula, we have calculated the whole square of the column C minus re. Create a new column and label it as whole square of C minus re. There are different methods to calculate the square of a number, but we will simply multiply the number by itself in order to gain the whole square of a number. Then, drag the column to apply formula for whole column. If you face this issue, click here and select more number formats. Click on number here and increase the number of decimal points up to your choice. I have selected four decimal points, then click on OK. Now, according to formula, we have to calculate n means the total number of observations in the data set. Right click here and insert a cell label it as number of observations or any and calculate the total number of observations existing in the data set. There are total 30 number of observations denoted as n. Now according to formula, put equal sign right square root and sum up all the column of whole scour of SE minus RE and divide by 30. Here is the estimated root means square error between actual values and predicted values. Now move toward the third method that is also used to check the accuracy of predicted value. The third method is bias R. We call it R bias. The systematic error in predictions that causes the average predictions to deviate from the true values. Ideally should be low or 10% bias consider acceptable. Now move toward the procedure that how can you find RBIAs? Here is the formula to find out our BEAs, summation of the differences between the actual values and the predicted values, and divide it by the summation of actual values and multiply it with 100. Create a new column and label it as C minus RE. In order to calculate C minus RE, put U call sign, select C put minus sign and select RE. Double click on cell to apply formula for the whole column. Now calculate the summation REA. Put formula for sum and select the whole column. Again, calculate the sum of the whole column of psi ray. 
or you can simply drag the cell horizontally to apply formula for the neck. Now apply formula. Put equal sign and select the summation of the differences between the actual values and the predicted values and divide it by the summation of actual values and multiply it with 100. A minus 32 Vlaive is considered significant negative bias.